Thanks for hanging with us today, Dana. Thank you for having me. Of course. Before we get into it, I need to know about your experiences with alcohol and what led you here, which obviously starts with your first ever alcoholic beverage. I knew you were going to ask that question because I watched some prior videos. So I've been thinking about it. And I think I would have to say it either had to be some sort of beer or a wine cooler. But my parents tell stories that when I was younger and they would have um, adult parties and there would be (laughs) beverages sitting out, I would go around and taste them all. And everybody was amazed that, you know, I didn't ever really have a reaction. I'm not really that big of a drinker, so I'm surprised by that, but they say that was probably my first. Um, so you started with cocktails, basically. I would have to say, <laughs> a classy I would have to way say, to say it. something popular in the 80s, the 70s, you know, that kind of a thing. It's like, it's like when you take the, the cup at the fast food restaurant and you go and get all the sodas. And right. Like, uh, well, we weren't allowed to have pop. So any, anything that had pop in it or a glass, I was drinking it. So especially when they turned around. That's and did they know the whole time that, that was that's what was happening? They were just oh, like, you know what, experience the world, little girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they caught me, but eventually I was sent to bed. So it didn't last too long. <laughs> that's hilarious. So obviously, uh, you told me before we uh started the interview that you and your mom went into business together. That yeah. makes a lot more sense now. Tell me about that journey. Okay, so we our family has always been involved in some part of the business, restaurants. Um, I've had uncles that work for distributorships and, um, you know, I've always kind of bartended as a part-time gig and done other things. And so um, prior to the pandemic, we decided to go back into business and um, my mom and I really wanted to do it again. We kind of missed um, the aspect of the business and, you know, meeting everybody and being around the people and doing all that. Um, So had we known that it was going to be the (laughs) pandemic, uh, you know, it, yeah. who knows what we would have done, but it's kind of been a dream come true. Um, we've gotten a ton of support from local people and, you know, we've made it through this difficult time. And so I have to thank everybody for that. It's, um, it, it's been a, it's been a nice surprise. Yeah. I was going to say, how was starting obviously then right at the pandemic? Yeah. Our original go-to date that we wanted to open was St. Patrick's day, 2020. Ugh. And so knowing that this pan, you know, knowing that the shutdown was coming in and everything, it delayed a lot of stuff. We were at the last final stages of construction and things like that. So once the pandemic and the shutdown came in, we um, definitely started to slow things down with getting inspections and workers and things to finish. So we actually had our first day opening was May 29th when they allowed the outdoor openings. Mm. So we have a huge patio. Um, and so that was our first step was opening that on the May 29th. Yeah. So tell me what you guys use this huge patio for now. Obviously there's live in the name. So there's going to be a lot of live music happening. We have a lot of live music. We have karaoke. We also have a music room in the back. So we kind of have a two room, our bar is two rooms and then we have a patio. So during the summer, I, I have live acoustic gigs on Saturdays and Sundays We do Friday nights in our music lounge, um, usually anywhere from a single performer to five piece band, Um, anything, you know, people are calling me from all over the place trying to get it some time in. And so I'm glad to give a lot of people a chance. Um, We also have karaoke three nights a week. We have um, music bingo we do. So we're always trying to keep something going and for people to come in. Um, Actually, tonight, our Tuesday nights, we do open mic as well. So that's a free. Um, time people can come in and, you know, sing and whatever their talent is. And we've had a lot of really good people come through. So it's pretty exciting. Talent show. Yes. Well, karaoke is a talent show in itself. Yes. If you do it right, it is Dana. (laughs) We have some that are right. We have some that are right. So we're just, we're trying to figure out when we're going to do our first contest. We're just kind of waiting to get to figure out what's going to happen. Now with this new variant, you know, it's hard to say. Let's, I like to pretend that the variant isn't happening until it's happening, which has not, you know, lent itself thus far. No, <laughs> no. And everybody's got to stay safe. So I get right. it. It's, um, but I do appreciate the support we're getting. Just try to do everything you can to keep everybody safe. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, I mean, community must mean a lot to you guys, clearly getting you, you know, up on your feet and through the pandemic. I mean, that is no no small feat. So what do you think it is about the community that like re- makes them latch on to you guys clearly? 
I have to say, um, you know, I grew up in Roselle, which is close to Bartlett, but not the same. And um, they just, they rally around each other. There's mm -hmm. huge support system. Um, I know we have coming up like a cocoa, um, I guess you would call it kind of like a bar crawl, but it's with cocoa. And so all the downtown businesses are doing it. We, do, we did something for Halloween um, where all the businesses had candy out for the kids and things like that. They're very family oriented and they really like to support their own. And I have to tell you, it's, it has been one of the greatest things to see. Okay, but I know that people have to get a little rowdy now that we've gone through the community and family side. <laughs> to, you got to have some stories of things getting a little crazy. Is there one that you can share? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that crazy. That's all I can deduce from that. So obviously- I don't have many, but the ones that I do, no way. <laughs> okay. Dana, you're, you are the woman to be around on a drunken night then because oh. all the secrets are safe with Dana. <laughs> they are, you know, closing on the weekends is always interesting. Oh. I think the best is we have a cat that comes by very often in the, at night oh, and he's cat local. <laughs> so when we're all walking out, going out to our cars, he's there to visit us, which is great. And so now we know where he belongs. And so we can take him home, but everybody wanted to keep him at first. <laughs> Obviously, but when do we get cat karaoke is the real question. Well, hey, I know I'd have to work on that. I don't know. <laughs> Just got to get that mic, bring it outside. It'll bring down the house. People cat will love karaoke. it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about um, all this amazing food and all the amazing beer that you guys have. Sure. So we do um, on draft, we have um, four regular drafts and then we also do a four rotating. So a lot of IPAs. Um, we do our food, um, we do lots of specials. Mondays are half price burgers, Tuesdays are half price chicken sandwiches, Wednesdays half price um, pizza. We do a fish fry on Friday, which is walleye. So um, the food's kind of been the savior. You mm. know, when they first opened it up and we could do um, pickup and things like that, we saw a lot of people coming out trying to support. And so that was great too. Um, I'd say pizza is probably one of our bigger um, one of our bigger items on the menu. We do sure. make everything homemade. So I think that makes a difference. Yeah. Are you guys, um, are you guys big on ingredient sourcing or just more focus on flavor and getting good food a, out there? Yeah. We focus a lot on flavor, but the big thing is, is to not have frozen meats. Mm. Um, we, everything comes in fresh. And so it's not something where like the burger is, um, is was frozen and we're putting it on the grill. Um, those things are all coming in fresh. The chicken's coming in fresh and like with the chicken wings and our um, breaded chicken and our chicken fingers, we bread it all ourselves in house. So that makes a big difference. I think yeah. it's the quality more sure. than anything. Sure. So paint me the picture, the ideal Friday night at 120 live. I'm a new customer. I walk into the door what am I seeing? Where do you want me to go first? What's the best experience? Wow. So is it summer or night <laughs> or summer or summer or winter? Um, let's, since it's December right now, let's go for December. December. So you would walk in the front door and you would kind of be met by very cozy, small, little bar, probably 20 stools with six or seven tables. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and we have a lot of TVs, we, we give away popcorn, a lot of people chatting, there's music going, there's a little bit of gambling room there if you like, if that's your thing. Um, so I kind of hang out there first and then head to the back room when we start our live music on Fridays, which would be seven o'clock. So that would run from seven to 10 o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, we start karaoke. So it's almost like we have two different sets of people coming in and out. So you kind of can sit there all night and get yeah. a little bit of everything. I was going to say something for everyone seems like the kind of place where you can like come bring your friends and have like a whole fun time, or you can go by yourself and like start a conversation with someone and then get up and do karaoke and blow them all the way and then get the cat involved. <laughs> and then that's a show. Right. Exactly. <laughs> we have a little bit of that, you know, so everybody, you know, we have all different age ranges. We definitely have all people from all walks of world. And I think that's the best part about it. Somebody, everybody fits in. Yeah. So tell me what you have on the docket for 2022. Obviously it could be a, a really awesome year for you guys to really establish this bar that you tried to get going you know, during a pandemic. We're hoping that this will finally be the year that we can see what our potential is. 
Yeah. Um, you know, I'm definitely not complaining we made it through, but it's, you know, you kind of just don't know because there's still people afraid to come out and, you know, and I get that. So, you know, it's kind of just waiting to see what our potential is. Um, you know, would we open another place? I don't know. You know, those kinds right. of things, you know, we got into it and then, you know, we're so excited and then everything kind of deflated when, you know, the shutdown. And so here we are. Right. So 2022 sky's the limit. Let's just see what Let's happens. Hope. Hell hope. yeah. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. Is there anything that you want to get out into the world that we didn't touch on? No, no. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that supports us. And thank you for this interview. And every little bit helps. So please come see us. And thank you for giving us at Rock 95.5 a place to kick back, relax, and get the cat involved in karaoke. It's my new mission in life. It hey, just cat. is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I'm bringing that cat on stage. It's going to get weird. <laughs> That's okay. We can do it. <laughs>